In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a pie chart in Excel. A pie chart should only be used if you are trying to show 100% of something. Okay, so in this example, we've got some proceeds from a lottery. And we have uh, most of it going to education, some to a general fund, some to cities, senior citizen programs. And then what is left, you know, and other could be a whole bunch of things that add up to 600,000. We don't know for sure from the data. But uh, if I tried to do a pie chart and I just say pick like these three things here, um, that really doesn't make sense for a pie chart because this is not 100% of the lottery proceeds. It's used, a uh, pie chart is used to show how 100% of something is split up. And if you don't have all 100%, then it doesn't make sense to do a pie chart. Um, if what you want to do is, but let's say you did, you did want to compare these three things. If that's the case, uh, then what you should probably do is just go here and create a column chart. And now you're comparing them, but there's no indication that these three things all add up to 100% of your lottery proceeds. Okay, so make sure that when you're doing a pie chart, you're comparing 100% of some logical value. In this case, the logical value that we're uh, taking a look at is 100% of the state lottery proceeds. Okay, so with a pie chart, you only need to select two columns. You select a column with labels and you select a column with numbers and that's it. So we've got everything selected from education down to the 600,000 at the bottom of column B. Let's go to our insert tab and let's go to our pie chart. And um, again, we've got some options here. Uh, these two options, the last two options on the first row here, uh, have to do with taking something small and exploding it. And we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to do a regular pie chart. Notice that there's also a 3D option. I don't like a 3D option because when you tip the chart back like that to give it a 3D effect, what it does is it distorts the sizes of the pieces of the pie. Things that are at uh, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock are going to be made to look wider when you tip it back and uh, slices of the pie that would be at three o'clock and nine o'clock are going to look narrower as a result of moving it back. Uh, you can also make this a donut chart instead um, and every, everything is going to be exactly the same if you choose this. Uh, it's just that uh, your pieces of the pie don't go all the way to the center of the circle. Uh, they just go in part way. So we're going to do this one and you can figure out how to do the other ones on your own if you can figure out how this one works. So we end up with a chart that looks like this. And as we've done with our other ones, we're going to move this to a new sheet and click on OK. And this is our chart. It automatically puts a legend down here at the bottom. And the legend on a pie chart is probably not a good way to label your data. With a pie chart, it is so much easier to read if you just put your labels around the outside next to each piece of the pie. If you have a separate legend down here like this, then in order for somebody to read this and make sense out of it, they've got to look at this piece of the pie, then they've got to go down here and see that that's education. And they have to look at this one, they have to go down here and see it's general fund. So their eyes are constantly moving back and forth, and it just makes it harder to read. So we are going to delete the legend. I select it, get the handles around it, hit the delete key on your keyboard, and it goes away. Now we've got a little bit of extra room for the chart, so Excel makes the chart a little bit bigger. Okay. Now... What we want to do is, this is a totally useless chart because it doesn't have any labels on it. So let's go to our plus sign up here and let's go to data labels and click on the arrow and let's do more options. Okay. Uh, if I choose outside and uh, it puts the numbers out there, but it doesn't put the uh, labels. So numbers without labels are, are pretty much meaningless. And uh, this is one possibility, have it do a call out like that. That's better. Uh, let's click on more options here, though. And um, we've got format data labels here. And we've got label options. And we've got four buttons here underneath, or four tabs, if you want to think of them that way. And uh, the bucket here is just for fill colors. We don't care about that. Uh, this is for special effects. I don't know if you'll ever use that stuff. Uh, this is for size and properties and this one is for our label options and we've also got something here for numbers if you want to format the numbers that go around the outside as well so we're going to click on label options and we're going to put the value around uh, the outside 
And right now it says best fit, and for some reason best fit in Excel is always inside the pie, but that is not as easy to read as if it's outside the pie, so we're going to choose outside end. And we've got the numbers around here, but that really isn't a very useful chart because we don't have any labels on it. And you might think series name is what goes in here, but it, that does not work. What we have to put instead is the category name. So click on category name, and now that gives us what we want. Now, the numbers that were selected are the numbers that appear next to each one of these labels here. But you can also have a percentage. And if you click on percentage now, we get to see both of them. And I want to make this a little bit wider. It looks like kind of funny with that 7% down on the next line like that. It looks like the other ones all turned out okay. Uh, that one, the label must have been a little bit too long. So you can put uh, the actual number value out there. You can have Excel compute what percent that is and put the percentage value out there. Uh, or you can do both. So if I want to have the dollar values out there, I just click on uh, value. If I just want the percentages, let's turn value off. Uh, whoops. Um, I did not have all of the labels selected, so it only applied to this one. So let's fix that. Let's click off of the chart somewhere in the background area here. Now click on one of the labels and notice what happens. They all get selected. If you click on that label a second time, then any editing you do at that point is going to be just to that one label. So that's what I had done with senior citizen programs. So I want all of them, so click over here to get rid of your selection. Click on any one of them, and now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it that under Label Options on Format Data Labels, we're going to go to the last option here and go to Label Options, and we turned off the value, so we just got percentages, and if I do that, uh, this is what I end up with. And again, the Senior Citizens Programs, uh, the label on it is so long, I think that's why we're ending up with, uh, or maybe not, maybe you have to have it on the same line. I'm sorry, maybe you have to have it on the next line. Now it looks like maybe you have to have it on the next line. Okay. Um, we've also got some options down here for numbers. Well, there's one other thing here, too. If you end up moving one of these uh, label boxes, like I've done with this one, Excel will put in a line connecting it to the segment of the pie chart that it corresponds to. Uh, normally, uh, it just leaves it there, but if you move it, and I'm not sure how far you have to move it. I don't think you have to move it very far at all. Uh, it puts that, puts that line in, and I'm going to undo that so it goes back to where it was before. And unfortunately, on this one right here, I don't think we can fix that. If you want to change the title, just click on the title up here and um, type in whatever you want for a new title. We've done that with the other charts, so we're not going to do it again with this one. Uh, one other thing over here, uh, if you, I need to select my labels again. If you go to your Format Data Labels Choices over here, click on the last one, which is Label Options, and click on Number. Uh, you can also format the number uh, right now. Uh, it says general, but uh, I think if we do percentage, uh, it will give us, still give us percents, but it gives us two decimal places, and we can go in here and we can change that. If we don't want two decimal places, let's say we just want one decimal place, we can do that. And then hit enter, and now we've got percents with one decimal place. A couple of other things. Um, if you want to explode a piece of the pie, Let's click off of this so nothing is selected. Let's say I want to explode the Senior Citizens Programs. Click on the segment of the pie once. You see you get handles all the way around. Click on it a second time, though, and the only handles now are around the piece that you've selected. And when that happens, you can click and drag, and you can pull that out a little bit. And so if you want to um, emphasize this piece of the pie, then you can do so. Let me just click on that a second time. And now I'm going to... Drag that down a little bit. So you can do that uh, just by clicking on it twice and then pulling it out. Uh, also, you can change the color of this to anything you want to. You can right-click and get a pop-up. And if you want to change the color of this, uh, I picked the outline, not the fill. Let's click the fill and choose. Sorry, I've got them all selected. So let's do an undo here. Let's make sure I've just got this one selected. Okay, now the handles are just around this piece. Now if I right-click and if I go to fill here and choose red, then that one piece of the pie becomes red. 
There are a few other options here. Um, if you click outside one of the corners here, you know, a circle can always be circumscribed by a square. And so if you click outside the circle but inside that square, you'll get handles. And you can use those to resize the size of the pie if you want to. Uh, let's undo that so we're back to where we were before. We've also got all the same things we had up here with the other charts. Uh, the only difference is this is a pie chart this time, but we've got all the elements that we can add. Uh, there aren't nearly as many with a pie chart. Uh, we've got a bunch of options for quick layouts, which adds or removes different uh, options. Uh, we've got the ability to change colors. It looks like the same color uh, palettes that we had before. Uh, we've got a bunch of different uh, options here for chart styles. And we get a live preview when we do those. And then uh, some other things for here uh, for selecting uh, the data, changing the chart type if you want to. We've already moved it. And uh, with a pie chart, you're, there's probably not going to be much in the way of switching row and column data. So that takes care of pie charts. Those are the, the basics for creating a simple pie chart in Excel.